Right boys, doing a little bit of a uh, detailing video for you, just to show you the things that I use. As you can see, Aston's all now finished. So obviously I use different different products, different cars, different types of paint. Um, and I do tend to, you know, chop and change a little bit. Um, let's go to the detailing cupboard and I'll show you what I've got. Some of the stuff, by the way, is just in there from years ago and I don't use, but these are the main products. So when you're first machining paint, I like to use this range, Menzerna. Now these big pots come in a different cut level, as you can see. Um, if you want to do three stage machining, that's the way it forward. Nowadays, unless you're really into it, um, single phase, single machine is good. So I've started using these products which are still men's earners. This is called FG400. And basically it's an all-in-one compound. So it starts off relatively heavy. It, it says heavy, I say it's medium cut. Um, but you keep machining it, you keep you spritz the pad, keep it wet, but you keep machining it. And um, it breaks itself down into a, like an oily residue and then acts as a finishing polish. Now I wouldn't leave that as a finishing polish. I then what I do is go over it with a glaze. But this stuff's really good. Really good. Another one that's really good is uh, they just brought out. Is a, I think it's a chemical guys one um, V22 or something. I think anyway. But that's a really good all-in-one as well, and I'm going to be trying that later. So moving on to the glaze. This is absolutely my go-to glaze for dark color cars. Now I've tried so many, so many. Um, it's the best for dark colors. It really is. Um, it kind of filters. It brings out, it acts like almost like a sheen filter, so it brings out metallic and pops it really well. But it's very good. It's very lovely to machine, really nice to machine. You can use it by hand, but that with a nice soft black pad um, really will. You just keep machining it until it just almost disappears. It's a fraction of a haze, and then it just wipes off easy. Now, that is brilliant stuff. And the good thing about it is it, it, it goes well with the sealant that I'm going to show you, but, um, black hole. Other good sealants, not as good to work with, but still very, very good and, and excellent on lighter ones, is actually the old Megs. Number seven, show car glaze. I don't get to use it a lot now. I use it on the Renault. It's harder to work with, but it's really good product. Very good product. Again, you can actually use it as a top coat if you wanted to, if you were showing it. Um, another one, which I've only got a sample of, KKD, Regloss. That's really good as well, very good. Um, not one of my most favourites, but those three are the tip top. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be disappointed with any of them. You can buy this in a little sample pot, so from cleanyourcar.co.uk. So maybe that's a good one. Um, with regards to claying, I should have mentioned before that I use the I use the Meguiar's quick clay kit. It comes with two pieces of clay, and it also comes with this quick mist detailer um, which is a very good lube for the for the for the clay and it also doubles up as a good detailer spray so you can use it afterwards as well but I use that um, for washing I will, and maintenance I will use these two I go to are this again another chemical guys product maxi suds two bubbles up very well but it puts a little slick coating in so it almost li lifts the dirt off the body um, and you can also use it as a bit in your lance as well as a little bit of a if you want to use it for a little bit of a snow foam um, and also this one chemical guys extreme wash and wax it's very good the thing is it, it leaves an amazing shine it's very hydrophobic which means that it it kind of lets the water uh, sheet off rather than bead so it's great for that and it puts a lovely shine on. The only thing is, if you're one of these people like me that likes a really glass touch, it, it, it's not quite as, as, as like wet look shine, uh, sorry, wet look touch. Um, but it, the look is great, it's really nice. I, I, I use the both of those. Um, perhaps if you're washing the car in the sun, you know, or in hot weather when you're having trouble with dry, drying out for water spots, that's good. On water spots, don't, do not think that I don't use some cheap products. This stuff, Demon Shine, in your final rinse, in your final rinse, once you've washed the car down, you've got all the suds off, put a couple of capfuls of that in a bucket 
or uh, sorry, in a watering can and run it over the bodywork, right? And that will put a little bit of a sheeting thing. Uh, it will take all the water spots off and it will leave um, a really nice surface just to pat dry. Very, very good. I always use that. Really cheap as well. All right, anyway. Okay, let's go back to the, uh, let's go back to the, oh no, a snow foam. I don't know if you can see it in there, but uh, two seconds. Okay, that stuff. Built Hamber Auto Foam. I also use Valet Pro pH Neutral, which is very, very good. I like that a lot. There's some other things in there. Um, you asked me, I think someone asked me about wheels. This stuff stinks like crap. Dragon's Breath. But it's um, it's fantastic stuff. It's, it, it stinks, but you spray it on the wheels, and uh, that that would literally that would clean Jim, Jim Davidson's jokes up. I tell you, it's amazing. Um, I won some of this a little while ago at a, at a competition. Um, Detailer's Passion Lip Spritz looks a very nice product. I did give it a quick go. Um, I was very impressed by the early stages, but I haven't given it a proper going over yet. Um, okay, so. Metal polishes. If the metal's in good condition, this is a really good one. Meguiar's metal polish. Really like that. Um, if you have a look, it's quite a soft paste as well. So, yeah, wipes on very easy, dries quick, wipes off. So, nice one that. Um, the one I actually use, old fashioned one, can't beat it. Auto sole, messy as anything. Make sure you put gloves on your hands, but really good. Very good. Um, okay, let's move back to the polishes. Okay, so one that you're going to probably be surprised at, bearing in mind I do so much detailing, but one that should be in everyone's arsenal is this the old trusty super resin polish. Now, I don't like this as much as I used to like the silicon resin polish or the old formula they've made it a bit thinner and watery now still a fantastic product less dusting i must admit i cheat i've got a can in here somewhere you can't see it oh there you go right in the back the yellow one of the old silicon resin polish a bit thicker and the good thing about that is it's a it, it almost acts like a glaze polish so um it will it does have filling qualities so as you rub it you can very very easily apply it by hand and wipe it off you can do it in a heartbeat just like that whatever the weather as well um the only thing is it does leave a lot of dust in and the, you know it'll fill a few spider lines and marks but it won't last very long it really won't last too long at all um but it's again i've used it under a sealant and that's quite good as well you've got to be careful which sealant you use because again some of the seat once you put a sealant on if they're too sort of petroleum based they can or chemical based they can knock the knock the dust and the filling right out what else have we got in here also glim actually have up their game lately so i, I don't apologize for having a few products in it again I've, they send me a few bits and pieces from time to time and when you win when you win competitions you know the car shows and stuff like you tend to always get some auto glim handed out so i've got a lot for that um quick story they were fantastic with me i had a porsche um box the convertible once and well they're all convertibles aren't they but um they were very very good because they they i put some of their stuff on the roof and for some reason i don't know if it had been left out or what but it it, it, it went a little bit gluey in, in places and i could not get it off which meant it was doing its job anyway they paid, they picked the car up, put it in a in truck and closed trailer, took it away, took it to their um, factory to, to remove it. And then as such, they then came back and they, they gave me 500 pound compensation and they also sent me a whole batch of stuff. So that's why I've got it. So you can't knock that. I, I won't, won't ever knock auto glim. But yeah, so for a quick polish, if you want something in your armory or your car's already in good condition, like something like the Aston, that's in fantastic condition now, if I wanted to just give it a quick wipe over after a wash, Great, great sort of stuff. Um, other top waxes now. So after we've put the seal, actually, no, let's go to the sealants now. Let's go to the sealants. Now, this isn't really a sealant as such. It's supposed to be a wax. Now, do not be fooled by the tin. It looks like it's something out of the 50s. It looks like something our old granddads would use. Colonite, okay, 476. They do another version, which is a liquid version, but it's absolutely two coats of this two proper coats of this and it will you know if if you're not as fussy as me that will last you 12 months and not many sealants will do that they really won't fantastic very good uh shine to it as well 
as I say, do not be fooled by this NAF old tin. It is a very good product, Colonite 476. You have to layer it on quite thin, otherwise um, it's very difficult to remove. But it's very, very good. Very good. This one here is the liquid version. It's easier to work with. Insulator wax, 845. But pretty much the same product. It won't last quite as long, but it's very, very good. I prefer actually using this. It's a lot easier. Um, but I used to use that as a sealant and that on the Range Rover and that lived outside and it done very well. However, I have moved over to this stuff now. Again, I, I can't fault it. A lot of people, there's a lot of brand snobbery around. Um, anything below a certain price and people knock it. I can't fault this. This Chemical Guys Jet Seal, absolutely fantastic. Quite hydrophobic, so it, um, it, it looks like it sheets the water if you use it as a top coat. Um, it bonds very, very well over the black hole. So you, if you're glazing and then sealing, I put two coats of this on and then you can put wax over the top of it. Um, absolutely would not hesitate to recommend this on any finish of car. Very, very, I've used it on the crew cab. I've used it on that. I've used it on the Beetle. Fantastic stuff. Very good. Easy to use as well. Um, goes on. You have to leave it to bond for 20 to 20, about 25 minutes. Um, on a cold day, perhaps 30 minutes, leave it on there and then it will wipe off easy. Okay, last coat, your LSPs, got a few here, this is a really nice one, <laughs> again, chemical guys, butter wet wax, I don't get paid by chemical guys by the way, and they, also they don't give me any freebies, which they should do, the amount of products I push, butter wet wax, fantastic, very very easy to go on, almost as easy as auto glim, um, feels a little bit thicker going on, again, very quick dry time, buffs out very very easily, leaves a very wet look shot. If you're painting very good condition, this stuff will just leave it looking beautiful. I'm gonna say, there's another one I've got here, which is almost like a cleaner wax. I don't use it as much now, but it, it's good on some finishes. Very good on, on acrylic. This, Carlac Nano System. It's very good, it, it, it acts as a mild sealant, but if, if you've got one of, like motorhomes and stuff as well, and caravans, very good. Very good. Cleans, protects, seals in one kind of hit. Um, very watery, that's the only thing. Um, another polish I've got. Mm, it's all right. Dodo juice. I think they're a marketing genius. Products, still good. Not as good as what they, how they market them, but this, is a, this one's a hard wax. They do a lot of color charged ones. So if you've got a yellow car, for example, that <laughs> it's very good on that because it will fill any cracks or in the paint or any um imperfections or, or swells it will fill with a yellow polish which is great um it's all right it gives good protection lasts long not the easiest to work with this one's quite a hard wax i'll take the lid off and show you some of them are softer like a paste but this one's very hard very hard smells nice nothing like bananas but it does smell nice but um that's the funny thing about these color charged ones, the dodo juice, they will actually leave your car smelling, <laughs> which is quite funny. But that's a good one, that's not a bad one. If you've got a yellow car, I'd advise that. I've got some smaller tubs here, this is a good one. I think this is the rainforest, no, this is the purple haze, dodo juice purple haze. It's a, it's more of a um, color charged one for dark cars. I've used that on the Aston, quite good actually, yeah. Um, and another one, blue velvet, very similar product, good for blue cars. Um, yeah, I like that. Let's go to what I class as my high-end finishes. When I say high-end, I'm not paying silly money for it. This stuff is amazing. If you have nice paint, this R222 is one of the best products you can get. It won't last. It won't last longer than a few weeks at most. It's very thin. It's very oily, like a coconut -y. Um You wipe it on. And immediately you do a section and you wipe it off. I wouldn't advise doing a whole section either. So something like something like this. The boot. That'll be fine to do in a whole section. Something like this roof, which isn't a big roof. I would probably do that in two halves. Because you don't want this stuff to dry. Optimum, wipe it on and almost immediately buff it off. Very good, it will leave your car wet. Look, it's my favorite, favorite, favorite 
last top cover. Won't have any filling properties, so it won't get you out of trouble. Um, if your paint's flawless, whew, that's the stuff. I always whack a coat of that on before a show, really do. Um, another one we've got here, over on the bike, is Banana Prima Gloss. Now this stuff, really good. Very, very good, I like this. Again, this is one of my favorite, favorite, and the Aston Martin is currently wearing this as well. It's a premium liquid wax. I don't know why they call it banana gloss. It doesn't smell of bananas or anything. It doesn't even come out yellow. It's very easy to use. It goes on like a, uh, almost like a very petroleum-based, thin, watery um, liquid, and you just very lightly wipe it on. I normally apply it with uh, something like a pad like that. Wipe it on, let it haze over, Dry it off. Fantastic. It's got very good filling properties. Very good. And the filling properties last. As a, as a total protection, it goes over your top of, your, your, of all your other coats. And you probably won't get much more than a couple of months out of it, I suppose. But um, really, really good. Maybe maybe more. I don't know. It depends. If your car lives in the garage and it only sees, you know, good weather, then tip top. You're never going to... You're only going to apply it a couple of times a year. But it's very, very good. If you've got those a couple of final final swells or things that just that it's not good enough to start stripping um products off and machining your paint that is the stuff to get it's fantastic i love it um it's very difficult to find as well it's hard to find now it used to be a very widely sold product very few reviews on the online about it as well i put one on there um but i would recommend that massively very very good works equally as good on on light colors as dark colors um but really does pop well just a few other things, what we got in here? Um, fast glass, yeah, auto glim, very good, very quick for cleaning your windows, gives a great shine. Um, not massive cleaning properties, but a lot of times you just want smears and smudges off. Um, this is a very good polish for the glass. Really cleans it, it's quite abrasive. I actually use it on the house products as well, in the house, like on the dining room tables and the glass panels I've got on the in the hallway. But that is really, really good. Um, Again, a little bit dusty. That's the only problem. But very, 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 very good. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, oh, wheel sealants. Talk to you a little bit about wheel sealants. I think I'm out of the one I want to show you. This one here. Poor boy's wheel sealant. It's not bad. It's not bad. I used to use it all the time. It smells lovely. It does go on nice. It lasts massively if you're using the car a lot outside. Um... But it's all right. I think I've thrown away the one I want to show you. I think I'm empty. I'm, I'm out of it. But Sonax. Have I got some down here? No, I think I've thrown it away. Let me have a, have a check. Yeah, no, it's gone. Anyway, Sonax Extreme. Very, very good. You spray it on. Uh, or you can just spray it onto a cloth and wipe it on. And then just let it haze and very, very lightly wipe it off. Great hydrophobic qualities. Water will just run off it. Um, and the wheel will dry very quickly. That's my go-to one for that. I bought this product a little while ago. Dodo juice, clearly menthol. It's a glass cleaner. I wasn't very impressed with it at all. Didn't like it that much. Um, I got this stuff because everyone raved about it. Like the 100% be better it's supposed to be than Rain-X, H2Go by Angel Wax. It's one of those you spray it on the windscreen, let it dry, wipe it off, and it's supposed to be a rain repellent. Um, I really don't rate it. Everyone else does. I just don't know if I'm using it wrong or not, but I've tried applying it different ways. I don't really rave it. I still like the rain repellent, Turtle Wax rain repellent, or just Rain-X. Um, the only downside about Rain-X is it does tend to leave your windscreen a bit tacky, so uh, it works well, but if you've got... Um, if you leave your car outside, the dust will, will stick to the windscreen quite a lot. Um, what other products do I have in here? This stuff's amazing. Auto Glim Auto Fresh smells really, really nice and lasts quite well. Very, very cheap, about under a fiver a bottle, and you get a massive big bottle like that. Um, just spray it on the carpets, on the headlining, really nice. Um, other products that, that are good from them, the leather cleaner and the leather kit, very, very good. That's my go-to. I've tried Glyptons and a few of the others. I always return to these. There's the cream care. You put it on afterwards. 
really like it. So those are some of the main products I've, I've got in here. Um, I don't think there's anything else I want to show you. Things I've got like this, like the old turtle wax. Now, when I'm putting a glaze on or when I'm putting, if I've got a, a car that's got quite bad stone chips on the front, when I'm machining my last coat of machine, I will always put some of that colour in with it, um, or depending on what, what the colour of the car is, because it just, just fills those, those spots a little bit and makes it a bit colour charged. So, so don't always knock the old products. Um, here's another repellent. I don't know, that's a fabric. Fabric protector, courtesy of my friend Hassan. He just gave me that for doing his car. Um, I'm going to do his new one as well. That's pretty good. But that's pretty much it, really. Um, I don't think there's, there's there's a few other little bits and pieces. But on the whole, oh, quick detailer spray. That's it. Yeah, right. Don't be fooled by this. It's not in this. This is not what's in here. But every time you wash your car and you want to wipe, wipe it down afterwards, I. It's called Last Touch. Let me get everything out to get and show you. This is another good wheel cleaner, by the way, Bilberry. Right, I hope you can see that in there. Last Touch spray detailer. You buy it in a big, big tub like that. Very, very good. Smells delicious. Sprays on easy. You spray it on and you wipe it off, and you are left with a show finish. When I've done cars for people, um, before I give it back to them, I always give it a last spritz of that, and it's absolutely fantastic. Leaves the car glossy as anything. It's always, always, always goes to shows with me. Um, to wash, you want one of these. Supernatural Wash Mitt by Dodo Juice. Expensive, but the best. Don't want to be washing and ruining your paint with nasty sponges. Um... That's about it really. Um, I've got a really good paint depth gauge. Won't bother getting everything out, but. This was a CEM Instruments unit. So I can get it open, I'll show you. Very easy. You switch it on. Wait for it to load. Don't know if you can see the screen. Then you just put it, won't measure on there, but you put it on there and basically on the metal and it will come up with a reading of how much paint you've got on it. So you can keep an eye on your, keep an eye on your levels without ruining your paint. Anyway, hopefully uh, that's helped a few of you that were asking questions. Anyone got any more questions, please do give us a, give us a shout. I'm have, always happy to answer them. Um, there are other products that I've tested. There's loads more. These are just the ones that I find I'm left with now because um, they're the ones I use all the time. Uh, you've seen the kind of paintwork that I've got and that I do. Um, the finishes using those products are absolutely fantastic. They're easy. So, thanks for watching. Happy detailing.